Okay, so you probably know that it takes some effort to lift objects a certain height. Okay, and this is because you have to do work to do it. You have to transfer energy to do it. And when you are transferring energy by lifting something up, you are transferring energy to its gravitational potential energy store, which is the title of this video. Um, so in a previous video, we've looked at the uh, we've looked at work done. Okay, and you, you know that work done is equal to the force that you apply times the distance that you move the object. Okay, so work done is force times distance, and the work in this case is uh, the work is done against gravity. Okay, so we're lifting something up, we apply a force to lift it up, and we are doing work against the force of gravity or the force of weight. Okay, so in this case, um, work is done against weight. So the force is weight. You know as well from the forces topic that weight is given by mass times uh, gravitational field strength. Yeah. So mass times gravitational field strength is the force. That's the force of weight. And the distance that we lift the object um, is also known as the height that we lift the object. Okay. So we end up with a, an equation called uh, known as MGH, mass times gravitational field strength times by the heights that you lift the object and that is the energy that you transfer into its gravitational potential energy store EP okay so the mg comes from the force which is the force of weight mass times gravitational field strength and the h is just the distance that you move it the heights that you lift it okay so we've got gravitational potential energy we know that gravitational potential energy is measured in joules We've got the mass in kilograms. Gravitational field strength, uh, usually on Earth, we represent that, uh, well, it's 9.8 on Earth. You'll be given that value in an exam. Uh, so 9.8 newtons per kilogram on Earth. Other planets, it will be different. Okay, so it might have a stronger gravitational field or a weaker gravitational field. Uh, and then we've got height as well. Okay, and this is gravitational. Okay, so there's our equation for gravitational potential energy. So if you lift an object to a certain height, you are transferring energy into its gravitational potential energy store. So here's an example here. Let's say this person is lifting some, some, uh, some weights that have a mass of, uh, let's say, 20 kilograms. Okay, they lift the 20 kilogram masses a certain height. Okay, so let's call that height... Let's say he lifts it up, uh, let's say 0.5 meters, so 50 centimeters. So what we're going to do here, we're going to use this equation here. We know that gravitational field strength is 9.8 on Earth, okay, and that's newton per kilogram. So we can lift this 20 kilogram mass, so we're going to take the mass 20 times by 9.8 times by the height 0.5 meters, that's the height that we lift it, you get 98 joules of energy okay right so I have got another question for you to have a go at here okay so we've got a two kilogram object lifted from a 0.75 meter high desk to a two meter high shelf calculate the increase in the object's gravitational potential energy store have a go at that and unpause the video and I'll go through it in just a sec okay so let's go through it we're going to use the equation the same equation gravitational potential energy is equal to m t h mass times gravitational field strength times height mass is two kilograms gravitational field strength 9.8 newtons per kilogram and the height that we lift it so we've lifted it from 0.75 all the way up to two meters so the change in height the height that we've lifted it is 1.25 meters Okay, so that's the increase in the object's gravitational energy store. So 2 times 9.8 times by 1.25, that should give you an answer of 24.5 joules. Okay, and there's your answer. Okay, so that's gravitational potential energy. In the next video, I think we'll look at conservation of energy, and we might bring together kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy as well, uh, link them together in a conservation of energy question. I will see you then.